Hello and welcome back to our channel. We have some heartbreaking news to share from the art world today. 31-year-old Sarah Cunningham, a rising star in contemporary painting, was tragically found dead in London after going missing earlier this month. Known for her deeply expressive and intuitive abstract landscapes, Cunningham was considered one of the most promising young artists of her generation. Her sudden death has left her fans, peers, and the art world in shock. Here's everything we know so far. Sarah Cunningham's work has been described as intense, introspective, and transformative. Her large-scale paintings, often marked by bold brushwork and raw textures, capture the visceral feeling of landscapes without defining them in literal forms. She was a master at making viewers feel her work as much as see it, and this unique ability helped her quickly gain a devoted following. This connection she created between her art and her audience made her passing feel like a personal loss to so many. Cunningham was last seen in the early hours of November 2nd, around 2.30 a.m., after spending an evening with friends in London's Camden neighborhood. She was spotted on Jamestown Road, just minutes from Chalk Farm Underground Station, where she would later be found. Tragically, her body was discovered two days later, on November 4th, along the tracks of that very station. Authorities confirmed her identity and have stated that, while her death is under investigation, they do not currently suspect foul play. However, the circumstances surrounding her last known movements remain unclear, and investigators are working to piece together her final hours. The news has sent shockwaves through the art community, as Sarah Cunningham's work had only recently begun to gain significant international acclaim. Originally from Nottingham, England, Sarah was born in 1993 and graduated from Loughborough University's art program in 2015. She was an artist who, from a young age, was singularly dedicated to her craft. All I could think about was painting, she told Cultured Magazine in a 2022 interview. Her journey was not an easy one. For years, Sarah balanced multiple jobs to fund her passion for art, tirelessly working toward her dream. It was a residency with La Huayca Current in Panama that proved transformative, both personally and professionally. While in Panama, she lived alongside the indigenous Kuna people and was deeply moved by their connection to nature and community. This experience fundamentally changed her approach to art, infusing her work with a new perspective that became evident in the sweeping, landscape-inspired abstractions for which she later became known. After returning from Panama, Sarah enrolled in the Royal College of Art in London, where she completed her MFA in 2022. Her first solo show in New York that year, presented by Almond Rech Gallery, was an overwhelming success. The entire exhibition sold out before it even opened, signaling that a fresh new voice had arrived on the art scene. This recognition was quickly followed by representation from the prestigious Listen Gallery, which gave her a solo exhibition in London in 2023. Her second major solo exhibition, titled Flight Paths, ran this past summer at Listen Gallery's Los Angeles location, drawing a global audience and further solidifying her place in contemporary art. Her work is currently held in notable private collections, including the Sprengel Family Collection in Germany and the Althani Collection in Qatar. For Sarah, art was a deeply personal journey, something she once described as a flight over and into herself. In an interview ahead of her Los Angeles show, Sarah described her painting process as one of exploration, almost like an aerial journey. I imagine myself in flight when I am painting, scanning over the surface, searching for places to deep dive, touch down or lift off, she explained. The paintings are journeys between the space of my body and the space of the outside. Her words give us insight into the depth and intensity she brought to her practice, and why her work resonated so powerfully with viewers. Her paintings were more than just visuals. They were emotional landscapes, spaces where viewers could almost feel her spirit in every brushstroke. Following the confirmation of her death, Listen Gallery released a heartfelt tribute, describing Sarah as an incredibly talented, intelligent, and original artist who we all called a friend. They went on to say, her paintings are authentic, intuitive, and pure, with the raw power to immediately foster connections with others, qualities reflected in Sarah's own indomitable character. Sarah's passing is a tremendous loss, not just for those close to her, but for the entire art world. She had an immense gift for creating connections through her work and for sharing something uniquely human and profoundly moving. Her loss is especially painful because her career was only beginning to blossom. There is a sense of potential unfulfilled, of so many pieces that will never be painted, and that void is something her fans and peers will feel for years to come. The art world has already begun to mourn this remarkable talent, with tributes pouring in from friends, fellow artists, and fans who admired her work. Social media is flooded with memories and words of admiration for a young woman who was not only a phenomenal artist, but also a compassionate and vibrant person. Sarah's impact on art will live on, in her paintings and in the memories of those who had the pleasure of knowing her. She once spoke about wanting her art to create connections that go beyond words, 
And while her time with us was far too short, Sarah Cunningham achieved exactly that. Her legacy is one of authenticity, to passion, us, and connection. Her works will continue Ring to speak to us, bell, even like in her absence. Thank you for joining us today to remember Sarah Cunningham please, and her incredible please. contributions to the world of art. Our hearts go out to her family, friends, and everyone who loved and supported her. For ongoing coverage of stories like these and other news in the art world, please don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and turn on notifications. We'll continue to honor Sarah's legacy by celebrating the work and lives of artists everywhere. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.